In this training session, we talk about plumbing trim done right the first time. When installing the toilet, use brass mounting bolts to prevent corrosion. Confirm the float is set to the manufacturer's instructions. Tighten the nylon nuts with a hex driver with enough torque to shear off the flats of the nuts to ensure they are set to the proper tightness. Code requires there be a minimum one inch air gap between the critical level mark below the ball cock and the overflow tube. If the tub and shower valves are not marked, install stickers with the cold beginning at the six o'clock position. Plumbing trim should be secure and blemish free. Secure tub spouts straight and flush with the wall. If there is a gap on the unit, apply caulk to provide a clean appearance. Vanity drains are to be adjusted to their full height to allow for acceptable drainage. Center kitchen drains before tightening. If it does not look right, fix it to avoid a callback later. Be sure to clean all visible sealant from the flange area and wipe it clean with a clean cloth. Install the kitchen sink square with the opening. Apply a clear bead of sealant around the perimeter of the sink. Clean excess sealant from the counter surface after the sink is secured in place. If there is a fireplace in the home, install the burner assembly to the base of the firebox using the screws provided with the burner assembly. Install the heat shield and remove all packing materials, including the shipping brackets. Leave the pumice rocks in the pantry for the homeowner to install at their discretion. Begin the dishwasher installation by removing the kick plate. To release the kick plate, remove the two screws at the front of the kick plate assembly. Tilt and pull forward to remove. Locate the water inlet valve behind the kick plate on the bottom left underside of the unit. Wrap the 90 degree elbow with pipe tape or joint compound before installing into the water inlet valve. Install the 90 degree elbow into the water inlet valve. Ensure the elbow opens to the rear of the unit before installing the water supply line. Secure the water supply line to the elbow. Run the dishwasher drain line through the provided hole in the top corner and secure to the disposal. Use the levelers to stabilize the dishwasher unit. Ensure the unit is level before securing in place. Secure dishwashers to cabinets with the supplied T-mount brackets. Recess the dishwasher as much as possible to cover the side panel. Adjust and center the unit so the door opens and closes without dragging on adjacent cabinets. Ensure the dishwasher door is level when the door is in the open position. Adjust the bottom levelers accordingly. Ensure all packing materials are removed from the dishwasher. The product guide and the sample packet should be placed in the kitchen drawer with the other instruction guides. Begin the gas range installation by installing the anti-tip device at the back left corner of the range. Use the provided paper template to mark your screw holes. Secure the anti-tip device to the wall. Secure the gas and the power lines for the range. Adjust the levelers so the unit is stable and level. For homes with tankless water heaters, set the water heater measuring up from the slab to the bottom of the unit 28 inches. Use approved masonry anchors or stainless mounting screws into framing. Set the unit level within one quarter of an inch. Install the pipe cover after hanging the appliance. Wire using wire nuts and electrical tape, white to white, black to black, and green to the ground screw. Mount the remote control for the tankless water heater in the master closet above the light switch at six feet above the floor. Backflow preventers help protect the public water supply from contamination. Please tighten them down with a pipe wrench so they are difficult to remove. This is how we do it. Fixtures and faucets flush and secure. Sink drains set to full height. Dishwashers and gas ranges installed according to plan. Do it right the first time and everybody wins.